is the first uh, U.S.-China co-production film produced. So why do you choose such a comedy like genre and talking about Chinese going adventures in Hollywood? Well, I think this is to me. It was. It's. It, that's the description of the movie. But it, to me, it's more about a love letter of Hollywood as a place, but also as an idea. You know, I, I I felt like I was an outsider when I first made my movie in the independent world, and I got. You know, I, I went on this crazy Hollywood adventure myself, making, you know, big budget movies and stuff. And so, you know, when I went and 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 kind of stayed, I was in China for a little bit, and I went to see movies there. Um, and I felt like. That idea came to me to explore what the idea of Hollywood is, and you know, to, the only way to do it was to be able to find, you know, uh, them. You know, I felt like it was important to have the right partners, and so it was one of those uh, situations where it organically kind of came about. And you know, I I hope that everybody that you know uh, in China. You know, they work very hard. Hopefully, they can come here and 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 they can relax. And then for two hours, we can share this kind of hopefully fun story uh, and, and hopefully a, p a potentially a new sensibility uh, with them. Because 结果没想到梦想照进现实了今天居然很幸运的可以在好莱坞上按手月跟赵薇一起我的同班同学我觉得这也是一个缘分真的很有意思我没想到第一部戏合作就可以做到这件事情那以前总觉得好莱坞哇
的威亚啊，一个复杂的威亚。拍了三十多条，结果三十三条的时候就掉下来了。反倒在美国，好像他们不会给你那么过分难的东西去让你做，而且他们的保护措施都做得非常好。不过里边确实因为有几个，就是你比如说我要倒吊啊这种的，因为他们要真实嘛，所以他们还是把我真吊在那儿吊吊了很久，搞得我其实也是毛细血管爆裂。包括我那场，我们俩要从那边跳到那边的戏，啊，赵薇是真的在那场戏的时候，就是掉下去好几次，我们俩要相继先掉下去，然后我在那个过程中要有一个拿腰带那个搭在那个那个绳上往那边过的一个动作，那个动作我做了好长一段时间，我都过不去，因为那个真的，他要真实，可是实际上是非常难的。我后来做完了那个动作之后，我第二天。疼的胳膊都抬不起来，对，就是在真实的时候，他们还是非常讲究真实的，但是也没有说那么危险的难度，可能是因为我们这个戏还不至于到了到了特别特别危险的程度吧，对，嗯。Uh, yes, I've seen their previous work, and 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 to me, it, it was, you know. I, when I left the Fast and Furious franchise, it was very emotional because it was something that I, I, I had, you know, I felt like I was my kid, you know, I nurtured it and grew it. And so, but when I left, it was very emotional and I was in search of other very talented people who, you know, had the same sensibilities as me, I hope. And, and without them, this movie w- would not exist. You know, I think that that was a great way of trying to make the movie is to hopefully have an idea and if you can find the right people, you know, then I think it, 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 the movie deserves to exist. So, you know, I, I, when you see it on screen, know that it's because of them, you know, there's no other way for me to want to even make it. Um,我因为我们已经演了很久的戏，其实虽然换了一个工作的环境，但其实所有的流程我们都是比较熟悉的。当然你会觉得确实是更加专业，然后更加严谨，然后就是技术手段更加的先进。然后看完都很想，哎
我觉得其实是这样子的，我觉得是我们合作是有一种新鲜感啊，是对大家的利用层的互相了解。但是其实我们已经本身就像刚才小赵说的，他已经知道我想说什么了。其实我也大概知道他想说什么了。就我们俩已经十几年的同学，已经很了解对方了，所以已经成为非常好的知己了。呃，也希望以后我们可以有机会能够再多多合作吧，再做出不一样的东西出来。Um, it has a little bit of everything, you know. I, I I've been very fortunate, it, you know, growing up in the in the states.、Um, I I love road trips. I that's that's my favorite thing. So I really wanted to make a movie、uh, about journeys. You know, so coming not only did the characters come to Hollywood, but once they get here, there's road trips to you know everywhere.、Uh, And I think that's a genre that I I always love, and that's something that I love doing myself. Just getting into a car and driving.、Mm -hmm. 那那个小明哥刚才导演也说到，他就是喜欢很多旅居、旅行啊，这种冒险的东西。那么对于你自己，知道身为演员这个职业，能出去旅行的机会很少。嗯。但是有没有这方面的计划呢？将来？有我，因为我这阵儿特别的感慨，我。周围有好朋友去世了，所以我就突然觉得身体真的是太重要了。对于我们来说，当你努力工作，想去实现某一个东西的时候，你后来发现可能你还没有来得及去尝到结果，你就已经可能身体病到你不能去去再去继续那个结果了，我去享受那个成果了。所以我觉得好可惜、啊。所以接下来的任务，就像马云说的，可能以前是把。呃，生活当做是工，呃，工作当做是生活，以后要把生活当做是工作。我想我要多一点时间陪陪我的家人，啊、呃，陪陪我将来的呃孩子，陪陪我的太太。对，这个我觉得对于我来说，经营家庭是非常重要的一环了。以后，嗯。嗯那我哎，我是一个天天在旅行的人。<笑>对，其实我们的工作也是旅行基本上。就是旅行，因为你会不同的电影去到不同的地方，而且你碰到不停不同的故事，你又在演绎不同的人生的旅行。其实漂泊远远多于安定的，呃，像小明说的，其实也是另一种诉求，可能就是我们所缺的，就是有时候需要一些安定来跟我们有一个平衡，这样的。其实你比我更幸福，你比我更多时间在家里。是，我不知道你一年接那么多戏，<笑>互相吐槽一下。哦哦哦。Yeah. So, uh, compared to Fast and Furious, there are less like dangerous driving and racing scenes in this film. Is this partly because like Chinese actors doesn't really have that kind of experience, or is it because? <laughs> I, I'll just be very clear.、Uh, American actors don't have the experience. I, I, that's, you know, it's it's really not anything calculating. You know, I, I I felt like when you watch this movie, hopefully you not only see a journey for the characters, but it's also exploring different genres of Hollywood movies. So part of it is the humor, part of it is a road trip, part of it might be some action sequence. But it's a hopefully you. You'll get to experience this kind of meta、uh, humor. You know,、uh, meta is always referencing to something, and that's so. It's it's kind of my humor. I I love that. It's very self-reflexive, and and you know, I I hope this is what we're trying to bring to screen. And so it was nothing calculating. It was just really trying to serve the idea. And hopefully, you know, you can escape when you come to see this movie. You get to escape for two hours、um, and have some fun and and you know, be with some great characters. 我觉得其实每个人的生生活当中都会有一段冒险。那对于我们来说，呃，好莱坞，呃，横冲直撞好莱坞也是我们的一个人生的一个写写照吧。我觉得这十五年来，我们也是横冲直撞过来的。那呃呃，我们的这个横冲直撞好莱坞这个电影是非常有意思的，有我们的 Justin Lin 这么大的导演和制作人在这里坐镇写剧本，然后又有。
呃，赵薇和大为，我们三个人的这段那个那个感情一起合作，然后在好莱坞制作，我相信还是会有很好看的东西带给大家的。然后也希望大家能够喜欢，这是个喜剧啊，大家会轻轻松松的电影电影里面得到很多的笑声。希望大家能够去支持和喜欢我们的电影，对。六月二十六号，横冲直撞好莱坞会在影院里面跟大家见面，呃，非常期待大家能够走进影影院去看这部电影，因为我自己也和观众一样，不管在拍还是看到部分样片的时候，我觉得是有非常大惊喜的，嗯，这是一个充满惊喜的电影，你看到就知道了。